Oh, I guess it's about time to make a video for the YouTubes. Hey everybody, Garrett Claridge here. Today we're going to be checking out this Acer Aspire 5315. Now, at first look you can see that someone has taken the battery and hard drive out, so that tells me usually they steal the RAM as well. People think it's worth its weight in gold. No. <laughs> There's a large gouge in the screen. Looks like someone hit it with a screwdriver or a knife or something, so it's going to be pretty funny to see if this thing even lights up. It doesn't look like it's broken, but who knows? All right, let's take a closer look at this old thing here. It actually has the sticker still on it with the old specifications. What did this have here? This has an Intel 530 Celery processor, up to 252 mobile Intel graphic media megabytes of uh, graphic memory, one gigabyte DDR2 random access memory, 15-inch screen. They're just boasting about all this stupid stuff here, like the uh, signal up. <laughs> you got the uh, Wi-Fi antenna like every laptop ever. Boast about that. Talk about the screen a bit. It has Arcade Deluxe. Ooh. Nice. This came with Windows Vista Basic. Here we have that Vista Basic serial number. Free to a good home. <laughs> so I'm going to need to find a 19 volt 3.4 amp power adapter with a little end that fits in this thing. Give me a second here. I got all kinds of bins of this stupid stuff. I might have one. All right, I actually found a Chinese multi-purpose adapter. Ooh, adapter. So this one has a little uh, switch on it. You can adjust the voltage. I have it set to 19 volts like the computer calls for. Have the proper end on there. And let's see what we got. I think that's the right end. <laughs> oh! I, I think I heard it do something. I do have a power light on the front here. So we do have a power indicator, however, it's not doing anything. I'm going to go ahead and bump this up to 20 volts. Oh, I hear a fan now. Really? Oh, I heard the fan spin up. Okay, this goes up to 24 volts, so let's see what happens. Very strange. I just hear the fan turn on for a second and then turn off. Actually, I wonder if they stole the RAM. <laughs> yeah, there's no RAM in here. Usually it still turns on and beeps. This thing's labeled 2007 on the motherboard. I found these kicking around. I hope they're compatible. And the fan's working. Oh, no way. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Okay, I didn't think that screen was going to work at all. I totally thought that thing was going to be a big rainbow of colors. Okay. I'm going to need a boot disc. <laughs> Okay, so I burnt a Linux Live CD, so I should be able to start this computer up and see if anything's working on it, to play around with it a little more. I actually have a pretty funny story. I haven't been using PCs for a long time, right? And uh, the first time that this stupid uh, CD drive thing popped out, I actually probably jumped three feet, like startled the hell out of me. It was, uh, I think it was the other one though, it was a little faster, but just hilarious. I don't know how to use these things yet. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's the, probably the first disc I've burnt in, like, years. Probably five years. Boom. These Linux Live CDs are kind of giving me a bit of trouble. 
I've tried the 64 and 32-bit versions. It loaded once, but then I accidentally unplugged it. So I don't know if this thing's going to start up again. Finally got it to show the desktop here. Perfect. Now I just have to be super careful with it so I don't unplug it yet. This thing keeps on lagging and freezing, so I think I'm going to have to warm it up a little. Here's a little uh, technician secret though. Apply a little heat, and you should be rolling once again. I found an old bootleg Windows XP CD. See how that does. It's still on. It was on. <laughs> yeah. It had a spot for a remote.
Ooh, saw something zap there. <laughs> <laughs> it's running. Unreal, this thing's soaking wet, the fan's taken out of it. It's still running. Crazy again, it turned on. <laughs> 